doing this makeup look and this is just a really nice warm perfect fall makeup tutorial and I've used the Ofra lipstick in Miami Fever by Kathleen Lights and I love it so much. It's such a beautiful orange warm lipstick and I love it. I love the way this entire makeup look came out so hopefully you guys enjoy this as well. This is going to be a talk through video so hopefully you guys enjoy that because I haven't done one in a while but other than that if you want to learn how to do this then stay tuned. So today I'm going to be using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and it's just a really nice color that matches my skin tone and I'm just going to apply this all over my eyes as an eye primer and I really like this because it first of all covers all of my veins, all of my discoloration and it also helps make my eyeshadow stay longer and it just lasts a lot more. This is my 252 Ultimate Palette from Coastal Scents and it's just a huge palette with different colors and different layers of different eyeshadows. I'm going to be using all these gorgeous oranges. I do want to make a really nice warm eye look today. So I'm going to be grabbing actually the last palette and I'm going to be grabbing this really pretty orange and it's just a matte um, like medium orange and I'm just gonna apply this all over as a transition color and this is just a really really pretty orange just to warm up the eye so I brought you guys closer so you guys can see what I'm doing this gorgeous rustic gold color and it's just a really beautiful orange gold and it has a bit of shimmer but it's more like a satin finish so I'm just gonna focus this on the outer corner grab another orange and it's this one right here and it's sort of a light peach orange and I'm gonna use this and apply it sort of on top of what we put I'm gonna be grabbing a smaller blending brush and I'm going to be grabbing a medium brown but with a little bit of orange so it's this one right here as you guys can see it has a bit of orange and that I'm just gonna focus on the outer corner because I want to sort of give it a little bit of depth but not too much I'm gonna be using half baked from my naked palette my naked one palette it's just a really gorgeous gold and I'm gonna apply that on my lid and I love using my fingers when I use my naked palette because it gives it more pigmentation and I'm just using this all over the lid wherever I didn't put any color So today I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner in black and I really like this because first of all it's a very very intense matte black once it dries but it's also really difficult so I'm going to try to do it in camera but it's really hard because I like to be really really close to my mirror when I do this. And then I'm just going to line it with my eyebrow. <laughs> Struggle of getting the eyeliners to look the same. They look really close so we're just going to leave it at that. So today I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Concealer in Light 20. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my brush and this is this brush is called the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush and I love this for concealer. I think it's a really great size and it just blends everything really well. And I like using my concealer to sort of fix also the eyeshadow that I just did. 
just to make it a little bit more precise. Now that I have the concealer, I like to come back and finish the eye. And I'm just going to be grabbing a small brush and I'm going to be using a concealer brush. This is the $1 uh, e.l.f. brush and I'm going to be applying just a really nice brown. First of all, it's just a dark brown right here. And it has a little bit of like a rusty orange and I'm just going to apply this all over grabbing the orange the first one that we use this one right here which is a really muted nice orange it's a gorgeous sort of like fall orange color and I'm just gonna apply this on top of the brown and sort of blending it I'm going to be grabbing this slanted brush and I am going to use this gorgeous sort of like, it's like a really beautiful shimmer orange. I'm just going to apply that to highlight the inner corners. And lastly, I'm going to be grabbing just a really nice beige color and highlighting underneath my eyebrow. So I am back, now we're gonna move on to the face and I recently bought the Rimmel State Matte Long Lasting Press Powder in Silk Beige. I had the translucent powder but it actually broke on me so I had to buy a new one and this time I got it with color. So I'm just gonna apply this pretty much everywhere. So I'm just going to apply this all over. I'm also going to set my eye with this and I'm going to use the smaller concealer brush to set my concealer. I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and this is my contour palette and I'm going to be using the yellow powder and I'm going to sort of use it to highlight a little bit more but I'm just going to use it right here. I'm going to be using the middle color which is a bit more warmer. So I'm just going to apply this, not a really sharp contour, just applying it a little bit here just to give me a bit of color. Just to give me a little bit of color. My hair is driving me crazy. I am going to cut my hair once my friend gets married. She's getting married and I want to keep my hair long just because of the dress. But once she gets married, I'm thinking of cutting at least this length. So I have like this really weird layer. So I want my hair to be this short. And I'm thinking of also dyeing my hair. So let me know what you guys think. I want to dye my hair sort of a uh, balayage, but I'm really scared because, well, I'm not scared. I just don't do well with change. <laughs> so changing my hair color, it's really drastic for me. I haven't changed my hair color in like six years. Hair right now is in really good condition. It's not, I don't have a lot of um, split ends, but I also want to change it. So I don't know what to do. Let me know if you guys know if I should change it or not. Um, but yes, let's move on. So now I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush palette in light. And since I'm keeping all of this sort of monochromatic with oranges, I'm going to be using this really pretty orange matte blush. And these are really pigmented, so really like just use them very lightly. And I'm just going to apply this on the apple of the cheeks. Just like that. So it looks like I put too much, but... Oh well, I think it looks nice. So now the last thing I'm going to do is highlight and we're going to leave it once again with a peachy highlight and I'm going to use my Champagne Pop highlighter and this is by Becca in collaboration with uh, Jaclyn Hill. She is amazing. I love watching her videos. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it and highlight my cheekbones. Look at that beautiful highlight. So pretty. I already applied some lip balm, so today the main star is going to be my Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Miami Fever, which is one in collaboration with Kathleen Light. 
I love watching her videos. She is amazing. And I bought actually two uh, Ofra lipsticks. So today I'm going to be using the Kathleen Lights Miami Fever lipstick by Ofra. And I love this color. As you guys can see, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous sort of rustic orange. And it's just a perfect fall lipstick. So I've been wanting to wear this since I got the lipstick, which was probably um, a week ago. About a week ago. About a week ago. Oh my god. Okay. I'll stop. So yeah, I'm going to use this lipstick. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. This is such a beautiful, like, pumpkin color. I'm in love. Guys, I am obsessed with this lip color. It's so beautiful. Once again, this is the Miami Fever by Kathleen Lights. I'm loving my makeup today. I think it's beautiful. It's a really pretty orange with gold and the beautiful lip color. Oh my god, I am so gonna wear this a lot of times. I hope you guys enjoy this and if you did, don't forget to like it and if you're not a subscriber, then don't forget to subscribe for more future videos and just click the button down below. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Thank you.